The next one's from Michael. Do you think that God, who knows all things, both real and possible, and knows all the possible decisions that we could make in any given situation, chooses not to know the one decision out of all the possibilities that we will make? Why does why does God need to decide to not know the decisions we will make? I mean, the, the question presumes that foreknowledge necessitates predestination. See, God has to unknow that when that actually happens, because if he foreknew that when it ha- happens, it had to be predestinated. The other ones were not pre- Look, foreknowledge does not necessitate predestination. Even the axiom that the question used, God knows all things real and possible. If that is true, the fact that God knows possibilities and all possibilities don't happen tells you that God's foreknowledge of those possibilities did not result in the predestination of all those possibilities. Foreknowledge and predestination are not inextricably inextricably linked. Foreknowledge does not necessitate predestination. God knowing all things in real and possible actually undermines that idea. So, you know, God's knowing what choice among all the possible options we will make doesn't require that choice is predestination. Okay, it might have been predestinated. I mean, God is free to do that if he wants to. My point is that it's not required. It's not necessitated. So God doesn't need to unknow things that he foreknows. You know, in my experience, Calvinists, again, who, who get into these sort of convoluted uh, ideas, they simply assume, and largely just because that's the way the system is taught, they simply assume that foreknowledge and predestination are inextricably linked. But again, you go to passages like 1 Samuel 23, where God clearly foreknows two things that never happen. Okay, it is just not the case. Foreknowledge does not necessitate predestination. 